Snipers, you have to see what's happening at the Bitcoin price right now. As I'm currently at the airport, I don't have much time. I'm about to fly out to Miami, but I have a ton of puzzle pieces to share with you guys today. Starting with this Goldman Sachs prediction on the Euro to USD pairing, starting to be in the early stages of a reversal potentially to see upside. For those that have been tuned into the Sniper channel, we all know here that the Euro to USD puzzle piece that we've been monitoring has been a very big factor in determining whether or not the DXY is gonna to continue to see strength to the upside. And Goldman Sachs posting this chart basically means that they are expecting Bitcoin to start a new bull cycle because every time the Euro to USD pairing has been in a reversal to the uptrend, it has been the start of a bull market for Bitcoin like in 2017 and 2020. And so this is a very big puzzle piece, but just look at some of these other puzzle pieces that I found. Coinbase Global hitting a major support level in this macro channel. This is price history since the IPO. And then not only that, the Euro to Russian ruble pairing also has hit a very big macro support level that dates back years, which means that the Euro to USD pairing could certainly potentially start moving to the upside and notice how with our weekly candle closing, potentially red for Bitcoin spot exchange USDT pairing, the Bitcoin to spy chart is actually closing with a green weekly candle instead. And then I also want you to look at the spy's history when it's closed four weekly candles in red consecutively. If we were to just go into the charts and look at the last time that the spy closed four red consecutive, weekly candles what we'll notice is the last time that that happened was back here in july of 2020 similar to when bitcoin also did the same thing and you can see from there we only started to see upside in the start of a massive rally and so that also a very strong puzzle piece that i found and then i want you to pay attention to the qqqs this is the index that tracks most of the technology in the equity markets for the first time, we closed testing the 20 week moving average and testing the 50 month moving average. Could we say that there is a short term bottom in sight? Well, so far, this is all Bitcoin has done. Coming down to test 37,600 to trap short sellers and liquidate long positions. For those in our Discord, our Bitcoin long trade that we took at 37,700 yesterday at 8.05 p.m. Eastern time when the monthly candle was closing already has now hit three profit targets. Things are looking really good for the price action snipers. And I'm gonna wrap up this video because my flight is about to depart right now. But I want you guys to pay attention to some of the bearish puzzle pieces right now because a lot of these could start turning into bullish puzzle pieces this week. and. What I mean by that is if we look at the DXY, we closed our first red daily candle to end the week since we've started to break this exuberant resistance level that has led to exuberant price action. We've yet to test this previous resistance as support, but seeing this calmness in the DXY into this week could turn this puzzle piece of the DXY into a bullish puzzle piece. And then not only that, if the Euro to USD pairing follows Goldman Sachs prediction and starts to move up as it did in 2017 for a reversal, 2020 for a reversal, if we see another move up, we can kind of look at the Euro to USD pairing when it's reversing to the upside as an indicator that capital from institutions and retail is becoming more risk appetite uh, focused and uh, basically uh, a risk on environment is more favorable when we're starting to see the euro strengthen against the dollar uh, as we've seen in the past and so that is really what would be happening here so this could potentially turn into a bullish puzzle piece this week and then not only that the nasdaq is a bearish puzzle piece right now because if we look at the monthly candle, it looks like a bearish monthly candle starting that wants to even see further downside. But what I've been saying is we do have this 50 month moving average just below price action. What if we wick down and see a reversal? Maybe Monday we see some downside and then 
Tuesday things start to recover. That's certainly on the table, but for the NASDAQ, we're going to continue to monitor it. Still a bearish puzzle piece. The VIX being high right now at 33.39 and looking like it wants to continue further up. Also still a bearish puzzle piece. And then, of course, the equity markets will maintain uh, a bearish bias for now. But just look how close this 100-week moving average is for the SPY. What if we just test it on Monday and reverse back to the upside by Tuesday? That would be on the table. And... I will mention this, if we look at what's happening to Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, we're back above 73,000 Satoshis. We've held the monthly open so far, so it's still a bullish puzzle piece for us. And I'll wrap up with this, snipers. Right now, Bitcoin has no reason to come down to test 36,000 at this 100 week moving average until the S&P 500 does it. It's clearly stronger than the S&P 500 based on Bitcoin against SPY. It looks like we're closing a second green weekly candle. And so against the equity markets, Bitcoin is stronger. There's no reason to come to 36,000 unless the S&P 500 does that. So we have to monitor how the equity markets open up this week. The range that we're currently in has a support of 38,000, a resistance of 42,000. And so it's a quite large range, but just keep in mind the last time Bitcoin closed four red weekly candles consecutively, we saw that turn into the start of a major rally and the fifth candle for the week closed green so it doesn't look like we're getting that on the bitcoin weekly close but we got that on the bitcoin against spy which is also uh you know a very important chart to monitor so at least we got the green candle there uh, but yes getting to forty-two thousand, that would be the major resistance staying above thirty-eight thousand shows strength hopefully we do stay above thirty-eight thousand. but let's expect volatility with this new weekly candle I think 36,500 is the most severe downside target that we could see. Unless the S&P 500 tests its 100 week moving average, then 36,000 comes on the table. But I just don't see this on the table right now. I think that there's a, a high probability that with Bitcoin below its 600 day moving average, and I'm going to wrap it up with this because my flight is about to depart snipers. We've only wicked below it to form the first two higher lows, and now we've had a cup of coffee below. So. If we move back above the 600 day moving average, which is at 40,000, maybe we're gonna look back at these last couple of days and see it as one of the best opportunities to have entered into Bitcoin spot positions because maybe that's the third higher low. And instead of a wick this time, we're getting a little bit more grace from the markets and we're having even more of an opportunity to have a, a long, elongated period of time here where if we get up, we can even just think of this consolidation as uh, what these wicks were before uh, we moved back above 45,000. And so, anyways, I hope that was a pretty rounded up update. Um, we had a lot of puzzle pieces to cover today, snipers. I'm gonna head out to this flight and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm if you support this content. I will see you all next time, snipers.